Welcome back. Two men are behind bars accused of murder following a pair of unrelated homicides Tuesday in Anderson. Fox 59's Jesse Wells spoke to the prosecutor to explain what led to both incidents. Police were first called to this home behind me where they found a 66 year old man beaten to death close to a half hour later and less than two miles away. Police were called to this home where a man allegedly confessed he killed his wife. Prosecutors say the two crimes aren't related, but both resulted in an arrest being made. Prosecutors claim a dispute over gas led to the death of 66 year old Jerry Gray inside this home on West 27. The alleged suspect ran out of gas, was asking for help from a friend. Apparently there was miscommunication. He didn't get there. Police believe Jacob Fight became upset that Gray didn't help him, so he showed up to his friend's home and killed him. And there's an allegation that uh, the suspect tried to call friends to help him dispose of the body. Rodney Cummings says Fight's friends called police, resulting in his arrest. Also on Tuesday, 51-year-old Claudette Williams was found stabbed to death inside this home on West 11th Street. This affidavit describes how 61-year-old Curtis Williams admitted he came home and found his wife having an affair with another man. Williams confessed he, quote, lost his mind and cut his wife's neck, but also insisted she slashed his wrist during the dispute. According to court records, after police spoke to Williams here at the hospital, they believe his injuries were self-inflicted, either to commit suicide or to establish self-defense. Domestic violence and domestic homicides are things that can happen anywhere. It's incredibly unfortunate. Ask for help, you know, before things escalate out of control. Regardless of the different motives, the prosecutor says having two homicides in Anderson in the same day is unusual. Anderson is a community that's that's facing troubled times. We have uh, a crime level that's unprecedented for the size of our community, but even in Anderson, two murders in one day is not a common experience. Finally, both suspects remain behind bars at the Madison County Jail, where they're being held without bond. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.